How you doing everybody? This is kind of a sad video to make, but um, as most of you, or some of you probably know, I, I make my living being an aircraft mechanic and I've, I've been fortunate enough to work for an airline pretty much all of my career. Can you believe it's been 11 um, years already? But it's sadly coming to an end. I started my career uh, when I went to AMP school in Cheyenne, Wyoming at Cheyenne Aerotech in, um, from 1987 to 1988 in November. I started in November and graduated in November. And in February of 1989, I was hired on with America West and I was there for until 1995, December, when they had a big layoff. Merry Christmas, right? Um, anyways, I was Mr. Mom for about nine months and then I got hired on with Vanguard in Kansas City. And I was there for roughly three years and I uh, transferred or I got hired on with Southwest Airlines. Uh, March 1st of 1999. Been with them ever since, uh, 22 plus years. Had a great career there. Worked with a great group of guys. I couldn't ask for a better place to work. But uh, anyways, today was my uh, last day of work, physical work at the airport. I'll be on vacation for a couple weeks and uh, my actual uh, retirement date will be November 15th of 2021. Yeah, it's kind of cool that I started my career in November 1987 and I'm ending my career in November of 2021. Pretty much a full circle. Couldn't ask for a better timing. I'll be 60 on November 5th, so it's perfect. Southwest was a great place to work. I couldn't ask for a better place. Um, great group of guys. Um, it did kind of change when Herb and Colleen left. It uh, got to be more of a company than a family-oriented business, and it's, it is what it is, but it's time to go. November 15th will be my last day, turning my badges on the 16th, and I'm done. Possibly my last night to work on an airplane, physically work on an airplane. It's October 27, 2021. Um, yeah, it's kind of hard to believe, but my time here has come to an end. 
And this is the airplane that I got. It is uh, 7732. It's an old 700. Uh, how it goes, no two is good. Hopefully, nothing in the book. The book is clean. So, I'll turn the lights on. Go from there. When we're done with that, check all the lights, make sure they're working. Anyways, what do we check? We gotta go here. Put those lights on. Looking pretty good so far. Um, yeah, this might be my last airplane. So we shall see how it goes. Check the hydraulics. This guy draw looks good. See our MC uh, checks. film everything I do tonight but just thought I'd let you see my last airplane I am going to work on hopefully in my aviation career. Wish it would have been an 800 but it is what it is. No faults everywhere so now we'll do this. Get our walk done, shall we? Last night for doing this, probably. I'm not going to put you through all this whole. BS on the walk around, so I'll get back with you later. This is an MV3, by the way. That's why we got the flaps and everything down. Just got done with it. I got to work with Mick Ceramic for the last time. There's a new terminal right there, too. Didn't get to see that operate, but it's uh, getting done. Almost done. But anyway, there's the old airplane that I worked on. Probably the last one. So, thanks Southwest for a great career. And making me uh, able to retire a little early. I'll be 60 November 5th. And uh, my official last day is November 15th, so pretty good timing. Worked out great. I didn't really, uh, the reason I'm retiring is uh, the mandate, obviously, was a big factor with the vaccine. And uh, not so much really the vaccine itself. But um, if you want to get it, get it. If you don't, fine. But don't make me uh, tell you that I got the vaccine or don't get the vaccine. I shouldn't have to tell you either way. There's laws against that. And uh, what, what Brandon is doing, I mean Biden is doing, is totally against the law. And that's my whole heartache with this whole damn thing. So 
I'm quitting. Also thought I'd give you a little tour of what's been uh, helping me be a, an aircraft mechanic the last few years. It's a 2005 Easy Go. And, uh, it's been a pretty good golf cart. But uh, time for that to move on to as I've uh, sold it. Time to move on. Not gonna take it with me. It's gonna be tough. Um, I actually brought my toolbox home the other night. Got it back out of the line environment. I also brought everything home from work. So, got all my stuff in there. Gotta unload it. Everything I used at work. This is mainly what I worked out of my toolbox and a few odds and ends in that thing. My electrical stuff was in that box, but gotta get that all unloaded, taken care of, put away. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it. I don't really have a lot of room in this garage, but I'm sure I'll find a way, a place to put it. <clears throat> so I thought I'd have a little fun. My family gave me a little party a going, I'm sorry, a grad retirement party uh, a couple nights last weekend, actually. Um, it was total, total surprise. Didn't see it coming one bit. Uh, we all met at Dave and Buster's. My da oldest daughter and her family, Justin and Dax and Kaya and Kaylee, flew in to have a little party with uh, their friends over last weekend, and they actually got this put together in a short amount of time. Had a lot of fun that night, and uh, they gave me some balloons, and they got helium in them. So let's have a little fun, huh? Shall we? Thanks for making my retirement so much earlier than it was planned, Brandon. Let's go, Brandon. So being retired, I'll be able to do what I want when I want, because every day is going to be Saturday. Thanks, Joe. So now my new life begins. I will definitely keep in touch with everybody at work. Um, that's gonna be the toughest part is um, trying to stay away from those guys, but I'll have to from now on. So while I was at Southwest, um, last few years I've had a, I've worked with a great group of guys. Uh, really hard to leave those guys. Um, there was about eight of us on Friday, Saturday, Sunday off down on the, on the line here in Phoenix at Sky Harbor Airport. Couldn't ask for a better group of guys to work with. Uh, they were so much fun. Everybody got along great, and uh, we helped each other out quite a bit, which is, well, which was a lot of fun. And they gave me a little parting gift and a couple cards. It was uh, really tough that night, so um, kind of hard to keep, a, keep from tearing up a little bit. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna miss those guys a lot. Anyways, here's the cards. So retirement is great. Yeah, it's not. It's nice to sit back and rewind. And I'm old enough to know what those are. <laughs> so relax, rewind, enjoy your time. Congratulations from all of us. And I, uh, the guy uh, I really liked working with was uh, went around and got a lot of people to sign, sign all this for me. And here's my other one. It says, whoa, didn't see the shirt. Sorry to bother you, sir. And it says, don't hassle me. I'm retired. <laughs> it says, enjoy the road ahead. Congratulations on retirement from all of us. And uh, they got more people to sign them. I'm really, really thankful that I had so many friends down there that actually liked me. So it's been a lot of fun working with those guys. And uh, they gave me this as well. It's a bottle breacher. It's a, a bullet, red and gold, with the American flag on it. It's a bottle opener. It's actually pretty cool. I'll be using that uh, come Monday night when I'm uh, 
scheduled to be on at work, but I'll be on vacation and I'll take a picture and send it to those guys at work. It's tough to the, it's gonna be tough to leave. It really is. But um, I'm physically done working at the airport. I'm on vacation for a couple weeks and I gotta turn my badges in on the 15th or I'm sorry, 16th of November. My last actual day of work will be the 15th of November. But like I said, I'll be on vacation and I won't be there. But um, it's gonna be tough, really tough. As most of you know, uh, COVID came a couple years ago. Biden, <laughs> I don't know, I'm not gonna call him my president because he's not, um, he is what he is. He's not a president, <clears throat> he's a puppet. And uh, he kind of made everybody uh, with the 100 plus employees uh, get a vaccine. Um, I don't believe in that. If you want the vaccine, fine. If you don't, fine. I have no heartache either way. But uh, don't ask me if I'm vaccinated or not because I won't tell you the truth. You shouldn't have to prove to other people that you're vaccinated. That's totally against the law. And uh, he uh, overstepped his bounds when he mandated it. And that's why I'm quitting. But uh, I shouldn't have to tell you whether I'm vaccinated or not. That's just the way I feel about it. So, let's go, Brandon. Oh. Fuck you, Biden. Oh, okay. Oh, it always ends with you being a potty mouth.